Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today I want to show you how to connect your Chromebook to a NAS drive or network attached storage. All right, let's dive right into it. All right, so with me here is a Galaxy Chromebook Go that I will be using. And I also have the Synology NAS drive, okay? And it's the one that I'll be using to show you how you can actually add a shared network folder to your Chromebook, all right? So let's dive right into it. So the first thing that you want to do is to log into your NAS drive. So I'm going to start the Chrome browser here and you have to know the IP address of your NAS drive before you log in. So for my case, it is 192.168.120 and the port is 5000, right? So this is available from the documentation of your NAS drive. All right, and you'll have to know this IP address here. Then the next thing is you have to know the username and the password. Okay, so for me, I already saved them, right? Yes. So you have to know this because you'll actually need them when you're adding the network folder on your Chromebook. All right, so this is my NAS drive right here. And if I go to control panel here and then click on shared folder right here, you can see these are my shared folders, any of these right here. Uh, I have Dave Nas here, which has a couple of subfolders in here. And actually I will be sharing and setting up one of the subfolders. So now let's go back to our file station here. All right, and you can see there is Dave Nas. And these are all the folders that are available that I can access. So I'm going to create a new folder and call it dumps okay so this is the folder that i'll be accessing from my nas drive so the full path is dave nas slash dumps okay with that done now go to your uh chromebook here okay click on settings right here okay and then come to system preferences right here okay then just scroll down and then here you see network file shares so tap on add file share right here okay so remember this is uh, where you're going to enter the file share url that file share url consists of the ip address of your nas drive okay and then the path to the shared folder so for my case it's 192.168.0.120 which is the IP address of my NAS drive. You can ignore the port. And then here is the folder path, which is devnas slash dumps, okay? And as, I, as you can see, I have slash devnas dumps right here, okay? All right, so alternatively, if you don't go with the IP address of the NAS drive, then you'll have to go with the name of your NAS drive. So for my case, it is Dave dash NAS. So it is Dave dash NAS. Then, of course, the shared folder path, which in my case is Dave NAS slash dumps. Then the display name is optional, but it usually just selects the last uh, folder name. And then here is where you're going to enter the username and the password that you actually use to log into your NAS uh, drive here, right? Yes. So this should correspond to, to the user who actually owns this specific folder, okay, which is Okwidave. So when you come to the control panel once again here and, uh, and we get the details, if we say edit here and then come to permissions right here, you can see we have admin, guest and Okwidave, which is me that have read write permission, admin has read write permission, the guest doesn't have. But if you want the guest to have read write permission, simply just tick that, right? So there'll be no need for entering the uh, username and password. But to make things secure, I'm going to uh, make sure that I keep the username and password there. So I'm going to enter with Dave here and the password, okay? Which I'm just going to copy from somewhere okay so then click on add right so there you are now you have your shared folder here called dumps coming in from the network attached storage device or the nas drive 
right here. The other way that you can add that network folder is to simply open the files up and then you come to these little three dots here and then you come to services and then you say SMB file share right here. Okay, so it brings this familiar add file share window here that we saw earlier. Okay, now with that done, I'm just going to copy this file, okay, from downloads, come to dumps, and now I'm going to paste it right there. Okay, yeah, it's now pasted to the NAS drive. So when you come to uh, the NAS drive itself, I'm just going to come back to file station here and click on add dumps. I'm going to refresh. It shows that it's actually now available on my NAS drive. That means that any devices that are connected to this NAS drive can also now can also access this a particular file here that I've copied to my NAS drive. Yes. So that is how it works, right? So now you can access all your NAS drive files from your Chromebook just like this. And this is really important because Chromebooks don't have a lot of storage. They have very limited storage. And therefore, if uh, you really have something big that you're working on that requires a lot of storage, then you want to connect your Chromebook to a NAS drive so that you can you know, uh, work from it and uh, take advantage of that big storage from your NAS drive. Actually, my NAS drive is about 6 TB. So it means that now, you know, I can get uh, movies, music, uh, project files from my NAS drive and actually work with them on my Chromebook right here. How cool is that? Now, if I restart my Chromebook, for example, here, then that folder should be available when I restart the Chromebook. So let's do that and see. All right, so my Chromebook has restarted and I just have to make sure that it's connected to the same Wi-Fi network that my NAS drive is connected to, which is correct here. Then I just have to open my the files up right here. Okay, and there you go the network shared folder is right here. So every time I restart my Chromebook, as long as it's connected to the same network that my NAS drive is connected to, then this folder here from the NAS drive is always available to my Chromebook and I can just work from it. So if you want to unmount this folder here so that it's not available on your Chromebook, all you have to do is to simply right click on that particular folder right here and then just say close. There you go. Now the folder has been unmounted and is no longer accessible on my Chromebook. All right, guys, that concludes our tutorial on how to connect a network file share folder to your Chromebook. All right. So if you found value in this video, go ahead and give us a like, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon so you get notified of future videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.